Hey, I'm Lenta. I'm making a 3D game about boats without a game engine. I just bought my own boat in real life to live on, so it's kind of been on my mind. This is what the game looks like now, and it might not look like much, but this is already a lot of pain. I'm making the game with OpenGL, so that means no interface, like in Unity or Unreal. But first, let me tell you a little bit about the idea I have for the game. It's that you start out as a single boat, you roam around and find resources to craft more boats and to upgrade your weapons. There's also gonna be enemy boats, but I'm still in the planning stage, so if you have any ideas, let me know, please. To draw this funny triangle, which I was very proud of, you need all of this code. To then make this 3D, we need funny math called matrices, and it looks like this, so this is a pain, but fortunately it's okay if you don't fully understand it, it's more about knowing how to use it, which I kinda do, so you know, try to forget about it as quickly as possible. For loading 3D models, I used a library called asymp because if I were to do all of that myself, I would probably not want to exist. Although it is pretty cool how even the most complex 3D models consist of those funny little triangles that I made before. So at this point I have 3D model loading, a way to skill, move and rotate the models and a camera. Enough for me to at least finally start working on the actual game. All of this already took like more than a week and I'm in pain. I started with adding some water to my game because, well, you know, boats and, and water, they kind of work together. I made the water move back and forth by offsetting the UV in the shader, which was pretty cool. I think, I think shaders are pretty cool, to be honest. I then added some rocks to achieve the idea of depth. I also added some plants, but they look whack as hell, to be honest, so I will change this. Uh, everything looks kind of whack at this point, to be honest. All this while, I had been thinking of an art style for the game, since super realistic is just... It's, you know, it's not gonna happen. I'm not even gonna try. I had seen some really cool videos on YouTube by Tessellator. He was showing off a 3D pixel art engine he made in Unity, and it's just... It looks insane. With my limited uh, level of expertise and the time I have, there's no way I can make it look that good, but I'm gonna aim for like knockoff version at best. I started with making a tune shader or a cell shader, uh, which just limits the possible amount of shaders uh, for a shade, for a shadow. It's a really simple shader, but it gives a really cool effect and it instantly looks so much better. So, 3D pixel art, it kind of needs, well, pixels. And I thought this would be fairly easy, just, you know, just downscale, upscale, whatever. But nope, this took a whole day of work. I'm very jealous of people using Unity where it's just changing three values and you're done. But no, I had to make it harder for myself and I've severely underestimated how hard this is to do in OpenGL. So anyway, finally I achieved it using a frame buffer object. Now I can hear you thinking, what the heck is a frame buffer object? You're not the only one. I have sacrificed my sanity just to be able to explain to you, so you're very welcome. Uh, but very simple, it's a collection of all the pixels on the game screen in a given frame. You can put effects on this as you wish, like blur for instance, if you happen to want to make a bad eyesight simulator, or in my case, a low resolution. The way I did it is render the game at a low resolution, I then run my game like normal, saving all the pixels for that one frame in my own little frame buffer object. At the end of the render loop, I turn the resolution back up to a normal one, I then use this collection of pixels that I have, this, this low resolution, as a texture to put on a 2D quad that stretches the whole screen. So that and an orthographic camera left me with this. 
And I'm quite happy with how it looks already, even though it was way too much work and I'm in pain. To add to this pain, uh, school is making me port this to the Raspberry Pi, which, uh, for the ones that you don't know, is basically just a very small computer with, well, limited resources. So it's not that fast and it's gonna be an interesting ride for sure. I'll tell you more about this in the next devlog. If you did somehow make it this far into the video, then let me know in the comments because I'd love to hear it. If you're curious for more, uh, you can follow me on Twitter or my other social medias. The links are in the description below. Thank you for watching.